Another great day. Life is now here. Just wanted to take a minute to remind you that right off the top. So, I can't do it. I wish I could do it. You're so lucky because you get to all these things. Common phrases, common sayings, common excuses. Are you one of them? Are you one of these people? Be honest with me, with yourself. Let's be honest. All the time, People will say to me, I wish I could travel like you travel, or I wish I could do this thing in my life that I want to do. You're so lucky you get to insert it here. It's not luck. Life is all about choices. You make the choices. It's in your hands. So instead of always giving yourself reasons why you can't do things, start to think. How can I do this thing? Maybe I just need to change something in my life. Maybe it's time to get started. You see, if there's something you really want out of life, you have a very short window of when you can actually do those things. Life is short and nobody gives you any kind of guarantee as to when your time is up. So why wait? Dig in. Now's the time. I can't really speak to anyone else's example, but let me let me speak to mine. For me, the things I want in my life are all my version of freedom. I love playing rock and roll. I need to be able to do that. I've been playing in bands since I was a kid. All my friends played in bands. Now, there's only a few of us left. I want to see the world. I like to travel. I need to be able to fit that into my life. I like to be creative. Whether it be videos, music, or whatever it is, like creativity is part of me. I need it. I also like a bit of space. I don't like being all crowded in with everyone else all the time. The man's got to be alone with his thoughts every now and then. Let's take playing music for an example. So I need music in my life. I love getting on stage and playing music, I love writing music, I love recording music, I love everything about it. So I need that to be in my life. A couple things come along with that. I need to be able to set time aside to make rehearsals, whether it be once a week, whether it be five times a week. Depending on my level of commitment and what I want out of it, I need to be able to make that happen. Number two, I'm pretty serious about my music. I like recording albums. I love going on tour. I need to be able to tour, man. I don't know if you can really tour with a regular 9 to 5 easily. Most jobs, at least in Canada, give you one week to start uh, worth of holidays, one week's worth of holidays to start, and then you can work your way up to maybe two weeks of holidays. So to go on a tour, it doesn't leave you a lot of time, and then that wouldn't leave a lot of time for my other favorite thing, which is travel. So I need to find a way to hack that. What's the life hack? Do I just say, I give up? There's no room for music in my life? No. I gotta find a way to make that work. I love to see the world. There's a lot to see. So, if I would want to be a musician and I want to play music and I want to go on tour, how do I still travel and see the world? My vacation time shrinks rapidly 
because of touring. Do I pick one over the other? No. Now I need to find a way to fit that in too. And I really love having some space. Being in touch with nature, having space to do the things I want to do, have a garden, lots of space for the kids to play, and just some time to be alone and get away from all of it. How can I do that when all my friends live in the city and my family lives in the city? Do I just give up on that dream too? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. If I do that, I'm living for them, not for me. And I can't do that. So I need to find a solution to all three of these problems in order to have the life that I want to have. So what do I do? By no means am I saying these three things are what you should be interested in. I'm more just giving these three things as an example of things that are very important to me that I've had to keep in my life. I wasn't willing to just let them go. I wasn't willing to stop playing music because I became an adult, kind of. I wasn't willing to stop traveling because I had a job and somebody else owned all my time. And I wasn't willing to stay living in an environment I wasn't happy with because it made other people happy. So, always know your penis. How am I supposed to tour if I have to be at work? Well, the only way is if I take holiday time. Now, if I only get a week or two holiday time, well, what can I do? I, do I have to pick one or the other? Do I have to do one week of touring and one week of travel? Well, I can't really do either one of those things well in that amount of time. So what do I do? So what do I do? I find a solution. So here's the solution that worked for me. In this instance, I worked for a company. I read the manual. I learned all the ins and outs of vacation time. And I noticed that in the employee manual, there was a section that said I could bank overtime hours for holiday time. And during inventory, we had mandatory inventory. So during that time, I would bank tons of hours because I just realized this was a great loophole. This was something I excelled at. So if I really applied myself there, it could get me the freedom to take more holiday time. And then I could split it between travel and touring. That was the solution at the time. If your job is keeping you from living the life that you want, is the job worth it? How much money is that job paying? And is that number enough for you to be okay with giving up this thing that would make you happy in life? If they do, they cancel each other out, then good. But if you're looking at that number and you're looking at the thing you want in life and they're not canceling each other out, something's got to give. For me, I found a way to be able to keep the music and the touring and the travel in my life without being ruled by the job. That was key for me. And I found the solution. Again, just emphasizing the point that find the job that conforms to the lifestyle. Don't conform the lifestyle to the job. This chair. This is not, this is not good for YouTube videos. I even... What's it saying when you gotta have a can of white lithium grease just off frame to try and combat the squeak? Obviously not very effective, as you can hear. Anyways, I digress. Once I have the steady paycheck coming in from that casual position, well then I can start branching out and setting up passive incomes and trying to make it so I need that fixed job less and less and less. For me, the key to success and freeing up your life is incrementalism. You can't go from nine to five, working like crazy, to free. Making enough money to get by. It doesn't happen like that. It's a grind, and it's got to be a slow burn. But eventually you get there, as long as you keep your eye on the prize and you work hard. So, some things are worth fighting for. That's it for this video. I hope you've liked this. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I've been gone for a while. We had a baby. 
Oh my god, you, you gotta, gotta see, see the baby. The baby. <laughs> He's so cute. Love him. Couldn't be happier. And as a result, I've spent a lot of time with him and less time with you guys. And I apologize for not spending the time with you guys, but it was kind of worth it. He's a cool little dude. But I'm back now. Videos are going to be more regular. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. If you want to hit the bell, you can, but I don't blame you if you don't. Who wants to hit all the bells? At least hit the subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember that life is now here. Free up that life. Whoops. Made it a little more awkward. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Life is now here. Life is now here.